resolved as follows. The security agencies must be given the matching orders to curtail the sustained killings of Nigerians across the country and protect the life and properties of Nigerians as this is the primary duty of any responsible government. Two, the systemic harassment and humiliation by the executive of perceived political opponents, people with contrary opinions, including legislators and judiciary, by the police and other security agencies must stop. There must be, three, there must be strict adherence to the rule of law and protection for all citizens by the president and all his appointees. Four, the president must be held accountable for the actions of his appointees and must be ready to sanction those that carry out any act which will ridicule or endanger our country and our democracy. Five, the government should show sincerity in the fight against corruption by not being selective and also prosecute current appointees that have cases pending against them. Six, the sanctity of the National Assembly should be protected and preserved by the federal government by not interfering in, this, in the business of the National Assembly and prosecute those who invaded the Senate to seize the mace. Democratic elections must be competitive and inclusive by removing the present reign of fear and intimidation, particularly as we approach the forthcoming 2019 elections. The National Assembly will liaise with the international communities through the IPU, APU, ECOWAS Parliament, CPA, Pan-African Parliament, EU, US Congress, UK Parliament, United Nations to secure our democracy. The National Assembly will also work closely with civil society organizations, trade unions, NGOs to further deepen and protect our democracy. Legislation 9, the President must take immediate steps to contain the growing level of unemployment and poverty in Nigeria, especially now that we have the advantage of the oil price rising up to $80 per barrel. 10. Both chambers of the National Assembly hereby pass a vote of confidence on the Senate, President, the Speaker, and the entire leadership of the National Assembly. 11. We also hereby reaffirm our earlier resolutions of the vote of no confidence on the Inspector General of Police, who does nothing other than preside over killings of innocent Nigerians and outright disregard for constitutional authority of both the executive and the legislative. And finally, the National Assembly will not hesitate to evoke its constitutional powers if nothing is done to address the above resolutions passed today. Is this a true reflection of what transpired in the executive? Yeah. Leader, leader of the leader of the Senate, Mr. President, right honourable speaker, very distinguished and honourable colleagues, having come this far, I move that this, this joint sitting be a John Sinadai. I so move. I hereby second the motion very eloquently moved as the leader of the Senate. I so second. Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. I join Senate.